Please join me in the pledge to the American flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And to the Christian flag. Attention, salute, pledge. And to the Bible, attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you that we get to go to come to school today. Just please help us to um, learn more every day and just to praise you in everything we do. Amen. You may be seated. It is so good to see everyone today. You look so nice and smiley. It's springtime. Isn't it a wonderful time? I love it. So, um, I'm looking over here at this table, and there's some very interesting things here. I cannot wait to hear from our speaker today. I want you to uh, be um, with us and enjoying uh, the music and participating and all, and good listeners, because remember, the Lord wants us to not only hear the word, but, but what? Be doers of the word. Okay, are you ready to sing? Are we singing first? Yes. Okay. Miss, uh, do you want me to have him stand? All right, please stand.
Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he could not find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Philippians 1.6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And we've got a, a beautiful song to probably teach you today. This song, our adults will know this song, but you students may not know this. This is a, it's a, it's a beautiful song that uh, we pro may not have heard in a very long time, but it's a song that we need to remember. And I want you to keep this in mind as we, as we sing and as we listen to Mrs. McConnell today, this theme of God makes all things beautiful in his time. be seated. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. There you go. Okay, I'm going to scoot my table just a little bit this way, so I'm more in the middle. How's that? That's okay. We'll just, that's good right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, I am really excited to be with you all today. Um, the Lord has completely transformed my heart. He has done an overhaul in my entire life. And he also has given me this hobby that I am passionate about. So not only has he made me passionate about telling people about the transforming power of the Holy Spirit in your life and what he does today, not just in biblical times, not just in Acts, but today. So I'm passionate about telling people about that because I have experienced it myself in a very real way. And I'm also passionate about playing with clay and making really fun things that I think help people feel good about themselves, and they're fun, and most of all, they're really fun to give. And so I love that he has put these two things together for me. And one day I was doing this process at home, and I just was illuminated and thought, this is exactly what he does in our lives. <laughs> and it was just really, really awesome. So I want to show you all, you'll see this right here, this instrument that I have, this is called, it's actually technically called a pasta machine, but it's what people who work with clay, it's what they use to 
do a process called conditioning the clay. And when you condition the clay, you, you mix the heat from your hands with the pressure from this machine, and it changes the form of the clay and, and puts it into a, a form that can then be used for what you want to use it for. So um, I want to show you all here. I'm going to move this machine here for just a sec. And I want to show you all what I have here on the table. OK, do you all see? This is a pile of scraps, OK? This whole pile, you can see there are some fun colors in here, but even like this hot pink, if you can see, it's dirty, it's nasty, it has dust in it, it has dirt from my hands, from the table, from other tools. Every one of these pieces of clay I have already used. So each of these has already served a purpose, really, like to make something beautiful. And I also brought, I wanted you all to see, I brought two bars of clay here that are perfect. Oh, here we go. That are perfect. This is how they come, okay? Here's a white. You can see this is a perfect piece of clay. And here's a gold, okay? So these, I just opened these right before I got up here. These are clean, and there is, there's no blemish in these, okay? So I want you all to think about... This pile here, each of these represent things that we go through in our lives, okay? Things that are negative, that are bad to think about, things that were very difficult. Um, they may have been difficult because they were just things that happened to us, like your best friend moves away and you're devastated about it. Or... A pastor at your church who you love is called to a different church. And that's, that's just really heartbreaking, you know? Um, or your parents get divorced. Or you have a loved one die. These are all very difficult things that we go through in life that are completely out of our control. Sometimes bad things happen because of our own choices. We choose to do our own thing. We choose to be selfish. We choose to allow influences into our lives that are not godly, that do not encourage us to walk with the Lord, and then we have consequences. And I, I don't know if you all have learned yet that every decision we make does have a consequence, whether it be good or whether it be bad. And so, and the older you get, you'll find the more important it is to make good choices because those consequences get bigger and bigger and have more lasting effects and affect more people around you. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take some of these scraps, and I'm not going to take this whole pile because this is actually a lot of clay, and this would make a really big slab. It doesn't look like it, but this clay goes a long way. So I'm just going to randomly pick some of these weird pieces here. These colors, we're going to, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just getting all kinds of different, these have different textures, some of them have glitter, some of them have, like this one here is kind of a turquoise clay, it has like little, it's almost like little stones in it, and I'm mashing these together. This one, this was a black and white piece that I used, whoops, I'm going the wrong way, there we go, that, I mean all of these made beautiful pieces of jewelry, um, but now this is what we're left with. So if you have this pile, wouldn't you all think that this looks like something that should be thrown away, right? No! <laughs> I think that if I saw this and I did not know what to do with clay, I would think those are trash. Those are, those are leftovers. Those have already been used. They're dirty, and they are dirty. So... But just wait and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take this clay to the side, because we're not going to use that right now. You see this, this ball that I, I've, just, I've been mashing this clay together, okay? I'm going to move my machine back here, because I want you all to see what it looks like when it goes in and when it comes out. Because it's amazing how it transforms before your eyes. So I'm mashing this clay together. Can I ask Owen to run up here really fast? I want you to feel this clay. 
And tell me, tell me, is this, tell me what it is. It, is it hard or is it soft? It feels hard. Feels hard? Okay. Would that be easy to make something no. out of? No. no. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to keep moving this around in my hand. And you see that the warmth of my hands is, is softening up this clay. Okay? The more I do this, the softer it's getting. Sometimes you have pieces that are really, really tough. And then I'm going to put this down on the table. You can probably see me here. And I'm going to just, I'm smashing it down so that it will hopefully go through my machine here. So I'm smashing it. Okay, so I want you all to see what this piece looks like. See, there's the top, there's the bottom. You can see these colors all mixed in. I don't know if you can see on the screen. There's all kinds of dirt, dirt and dust particles in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in my machine, and I'm going to crank it. And I'm, gonna, I'm using pressure to push this through the machine. And what it wants to do, it wants to go back out because... It's hard clay, okay? This is this process, the clay, it's not fighting me, but it's, there's definitely some pushback here, okay? Because I'm forcing it through this machine. So I'm pushing it through. Let's see if you all can see. I'll put it under the camera here. Oh, and look, some of it broke. It broke in the process, which is usually what happens. So this clay wasn't tough enough to go through that process first, okay? So you see how this marbled it together, and I'm going to turn it over, and I'm just going to stick these pieces that broke, I'm going to stick it back on, and I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to continue using the heat from my hands and rolling it around and using pressure, and I'm going to smash it down again, and then look at this cool piece. Look how this is changing. Isn't that neat? Every time it goes through, it gets more and more interesting. So I'm going to run it through again. Look at that. Almost looks tie-dyed, isn't it? Isn't it cool? So now I'm going to fold it, and I'm just going to continue doing this over and over again. You see how it changes every time. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to fold it into fours here. And I'm going to continue mixing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is my favorite part of the whole process. I just think it's fascinating how different colors that were in the middle of the clay come out when they're pushed up to the surface. So I'm going to run it through again. And you see it just takes one time and it changes, right? Look at that. <laughs> I'm run it through. Like that. See how that's mostly yellow on the top? And look at all these colors mixed in down there. So one thing that's really fun about this process for me is I never have any idea what the final color is going to be. I have no idea. Some t you would think it would be either brown or gray, especially those of you who are familiar with like the color spectrum. Look at that. So that right there would make a really cool pair of earrings. <laughs> if I just stopped right there and cut that out, that would be really neat. And see over here, this is more, this is more of like a soft marbling that's going on here. So I'm going to continue doing this over and over again. Oh, look at that. That's neat, isn't it? Um, so I did this maybe, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago. I teach high school girls Sunday school on Sunday mornings. And we did this, and they all swore that the, that the color would be um, brown. And I want to show you all what color that piece turned out. Because it was a total surprise to me. Do you see that color? Isn't that amazing? It's, it's like a, 
It's almost like a deep raspberry color. So I'm going to keep doing this over and over. Part of me is guessing this might be some sort of a shade of green that I'm making. See how this is, see how this is turning into a color here? I'm going to keep going. And I'm just folding it and then putting it back through. So this is almost kind of a mossy green this is turning into. It's almost like a gray, like a gray green. But you know what's cool? Do you see on this, well, I don't know if you can see in the camera, the side has all the colors on the inside. So they're in there. Okay, well, we're just, we've just about reached our color. This is kind of an army green. Look at that. I know it looks, it looks gray on the screen, but from my vantage point, it's kind of a green. It has some sparkles in it from one of the clays that had glitter in it. So there we go. Isn't that amazing? And you see, you see how that process, that clay, transformed before your eyes. Well, I want you all to understand that all of, those, all of those pieces that went into that clay, they're still in there, right? They're still there. They're what made this slab up. I mean, you all saw, I did not, I did not sneak anything in there. That was made from those scraps. If you look closely, you cannot see any dirt, any dust. Somehow it has worked its way out. Owen, do you want to come up here and see if you can make something out of this? You want to feel it? He's going to tell me if this clay, tell me if you could form this into something. You can smash it. Yeah, you can smash it. What is it? Is it soft? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's e it would be easy to make something out of. That's right. It would be easy to make something out of. All right. You can feel how different that was. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, so what I love, one thing that I love about this process is that this, those, all of those things that we thought were trash and nasty and dirty and kind of gross to look at, they have gone in to make this brand new piece of clay that can now be used for, to make beautiful things. And I love that, can you, can you see any of those bad pieces in this? No, they are gone. They are completely gone. The Bible says, in Psalm 103, 12, so far as the east is from the west, so far have I remove, removed your transgressions from you. In Hebrews 8, 12, I will remember their sins no more. So those bad things that went into this, you, you can't even find them if you wanted to. They, they've gone into what made this, but they are nowhere to be found anymore. Um, I'd like to ask a couple of boys, Jonah... Barrett, Gideon, and Isaiah, if y'all will run up here real fast, I want y'all to read a couple of verses for me. And I've got your names on this sheet. Um, so if y'all will just read. Oh, I didn't think about microphones. Okay. All right, I'll get down here. See, go, go ahead. Let's see. Jonah, will you read the first one for me? Romans eight twenty eight. All things work together for good to see them that love God to them who care. You are close. Who are called according to his purpose. Thank you. And Barrett, will you read the second one? Revelation 21, 5. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And he also said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Good job. All right, Gideon, will you read the third one for me? Read that. Philippians 1, 6. And I am certain that God who began the work within you will continue his Good work job. until it is finally finished on the day when Christ returns. Good job. Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that they, he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Um, two of those verses we read at the beginning, and I want to show you all this very, very special thing that I keep. This is from Mrs. Champion. 
And she gave this to me when Madeline was in the third grade. And this is one of the things that I treasure most because um, of the heart that it came from and because we, she is a precious friend and she gave this to me as an encouragement to me. And I keep this by my kitchen sink because it is the place that I spend the most time and I see it every single day, multiple times a day. And it reminds me, this verse, does this verse say he makes some things beautiful? All things, that's right. He makes all things beautiful. And that is a promise that we can bank on. Um, it's easy for us to ask God whenever these kinds of things happen in our lives. When we're faced with this stuff that's not fun, that is difficult, it's easy to, to ask, why are you allowing this to happen? Why is this happening to me? But you know what? This, every single thing that happens is within his perfect plan for your life. And he is using every one of those things to make you into this. And this is 100% intentional by him. Now, it wasn't by me. You saw, I just grabbed scraps there, and I have no idea what this color is going to be. But he knows exactly what this color is going to be, and he promises us that it is for our good and for his glory. And I, I am so grateful that God loves us so much that this is what he is doing with us. He is not allowing us to stay in this state. That is how much he loves us. He, this process, another word for this process, that it's kind of a churchy word, it's kind of a long word that grown-ups use, this process is called sanctification. And he is using those difficult things to change your shape, to change your character, to make you closer to what he wants for you, which is the best for you. So, um, okay, I'm wrapping this up here. This is so cool. So just a few days ago, I tried out this new process um, that I've been wanting to do with clay. You chop up a white piece, like a white slab, and into little tiny pieces, and you drizzle all this black paint over it, and then you smash it together, and it's supposed to make this really amazing slab that looks like marble with like, you know, black grains going through it. I completely failed. I mean, I destroyed this perfect piece of clay. I had black paint all over the place. I had it all over the table. I had it all over my tools, all over the sink, the faucet, it, you name it. And it was in my nails for about a week. So, I th and, I th and I know this process. I've done this so many times. And I thought to myself, I have destroyed this piece of clay. There is no way, because the black paint would not dry in this clay. Do you all want to see what has happened with this piece of clay? Look at what this piece of clay made. Look at that. Can you all see these gorgeous earrings? Well, I thought I did. I thought I did destroy it. So what went in to this slab that I used for these earrings? And I actually, I took pieces from, so this is the actual clay that went into these earrings. Are these colors right here? You know what's really cool is every one of these colors was this. So every one of these colors was made from scraps. So these earrings literally are only made from scrap clay. And look at how beautiful they are. And they are going to serve a great purpose, and they're going to bring joy and this was especially like, and I, what I love is that that dark clay is what gave it the contrast and made them interesting. It was like that piece that I thought, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way this clay is going to be salvaged. And this is what it did. So I want to, sh to close with this verse. And I, I just ran across this verse the other day as I was reading. Um, and it's Psalm 104, 105, 4 and 5. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done. 
That's a command in scripture that we are to remember the wondrous works that he has done. So um, in order for us to hopefully remember that he is transforming our hearts, we are going through the process of sanctification now, and that we have the promise of one day being perfect and being reflecting his image in the most beautiful way. These earrings here are for our teachers. And I'm going to put I'm going to put a pair in each of your inboxes today. So at the end of the day, you need to come come pick these up. You're welcome. Um, I what I love about this is that I made that slab with those scraps intentionally for this purpose. And it turned out to be the most beautiful slab I have made to date. And I thought to myself, isn't that how the Lord works? <laughs> you know, when we allow ourselves to be used in the talents that he has given us to be a blessing to others, he takes it and just multiplies it. And I think that every time Mrs. Roberts has a program here, I'm just like, it is like beyond our wildest dreams what he does through us, you know. So um, the last verse that I want to close with is Ephesians 2.10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So I want to thank you all for, um, for listening to me today and for watching my demonstration. And I hope that it will be an encouragement to you all as we go through various things and we remember that all of this is part of his plan and that he is creating something beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing truth with us, Mrs. McConnell, and thank you for your generosity. Um, I'm excited. Um, I was just thinking while she was doing that is there's been lots of times in my life when I did not feel beautiful at all and saw myself as those pieces of clay that were, were not worth anything. And then I know from what God has done in my life, because uh, beautiful, what is beautiful? It's inside. It's how we um, love others and, and how we serve Jesus and all of that. And so you may feel like, oh, I'm just a lump of clay or whatever. God has a plan and a purpose for each one of us. And each one is to bring about beauty anyway. So remember that. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness to us. Thank you, Lord, that you dreamed of us and you created us. And um, even with our flaws, Lord, and the things that are in us that do not please you uh, because of sin, that you take those things and you use them for your glory and for our good. Lord, we know that you are producing in us a heart of beauty, a heart that is like Christ. And so I thank you for that, Father. I pray today that the students would hear these words and times when they don't feel like they are of much value, that they're reminded by your truth and how important that each one of us are. Lord, and also how we treat one another to see this work of art that the, the master created. Help us, Lord, to know that. Thank you for these uh, words, um, and thank you for this chapel. Lord, I uh, do pray that the students would have a great rest of the day. And it is in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. You are dismissed.